What autofill is and how to use it? If you've seen the promo video, you already could see that autofill could save you a lot of time and could be used in a lot of scenarios with your titles, handwritings, reveals, like everything. And it really is. And right now I'm going to show you how really fast and easy it is to work with autofill and how really fast it renders, etc, etc. So here we go. So we have our title and how can we create animated reveal? We're going to plug in everything, apply autofill and choose from where it should start growing and just hit play. And here it is our animated reveal. We can turn off preview input and let's see the background. And that's it. That's how it is. That's how it fast. And in fact, if you will change something like start from here, look how fast it is faster than real time. And you can choose noise, growth source, and which creates a lot of small starting points randomly. That really helps if you have like big presentation or illustration with a lot of details. And you can choose layer, create layer button. And what it does, you can create your growth source using masks. So unlimited number of growth source, uh, because our point source have only five points, which in fact enough in most cases. So we can start from here and start from here. And uh, let's have a look what will happen. Also, you can make it faster or slower. The next thing is border strength that we will discuss in example next in this tutorial. Speed map is also a powerful feature that allows you to control speed of different areas differently. Compositing reload also very interesting because you can ignore previous effects higher than after fill, uh, out of fill, invert alpha, which will create dissolving effect. So something is vanishing. Uh, you can color fill and you can composite over original with different blending modes. For example, color or add function add option. So now it's not revealing. Now it's changing colors in interesting way. And of course, you can delay out of fill. So it will start a little bit later and so on. All these settings powerful. And we will discuss it in the next tutorials. Also, I wanted to mention that Autofill works with your titles, with your shapes, but also with something that were completely new, that were created inside After Effects. For example, I have this turbulent noise and I'm going to apply extract. And now I have this alpha channel and we can apply Autofill. And let's have a look. Let's turn off preview input. Oops, and hit play. And now you see something interesting that were created in After Effects without any input. So Autofill works using your alpha channel and it doesn't matter where it were created. Illustration, vector, shapes inside After Effects, maybe effect itself, that's it. So. The next example is title. That's just classical, horrible. Uh, ex it's great example of horrible client that sends you just JPEG photo. Basically, it's just a photo and you and he asking you to reveal this thing. And in this example, I'm going to show you that autofill, in fact, works with uh, alpha channels that were created inside After Effects. Um, no, 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 no. Let's turn off whiteness and let's make some fill. And then we're going to apply Auto Fill. Yes. And now we have it. Let's start from H. 
press play and you already could see this complicated animation. You can already see how Autofill moving inside your logo and intellectually filling everything. And you should keep in mind and in fact think about Autofill like fluid simulation and everything that is not here, like transparent, nothing is there. It won't be filled. So Autofill, what in this example, you can see that Autofill used this gap because it connected to holidays with this small part and it starts to grow from there. If it will be disconnected, Autofill won't work because it needs, it will fill only one shape. But, but, of course, of course, nothing, uh, everything, <laughs> everything is good, everything is fine, because we have solution. Uh, and we will going to discuss, we can turn off preview input and look how it works, and also how it interactive. And this example, chair. Uh, how could you uh, reveal everything here? All these letters, uh, this plant is disconnected, this line disconnected. So what could you do? You could reveal everything here using only one autofill. And that's also <laughs> really, really handy. Right now, just default autofill and it filled uh, all the lines that were connected to the origin for to the starting point which is great which is nice and we also have you know like pretty interesting line animation why not but we have this thing called border strength which which alpha channel where where there is no alpha channel where there is nothing it's like borders and inside these borders out of fill flows and we can make these borders weaker. For example, we can make it lower, lower, lower. Oh, you see? Our plant were infected. And if we will play further, mm, it's not weak enough. Okay, 49. 49. And now we have it. Let's turn off preview. And just like that, and just like that, with one autofill, you created complex animated reveal. The next example is about speed, the nexus example. Here we're doing the same stuff. We're going to reveal from here. And you already could see it doing a job. Doing a job, but maybe not in a fluid way that we want it. What could you do? Uh, about speed map, there will be a separate tutorial. Right now, I will do it really fast, so you uh, could see how fast it is if you will watch the next tutorial about speed map. So I'm going to duplicate this layer, delete, autofill, uh, make a Gaussian blur, blur it a little bit, and make it a little bit lower, smaller, and fill it with whiteness so we can clearly see what's going on and let's do it something like that so now everything where is white will be faster and where is nothing it will be slower and in a speed map rollout i'm going to use our logo that we created using it effects and masks so we need that and using not luma but alpha channel and ta-da! You already could see that our speed map changed. Without speed map, we have this straight line, which is not beautiful and not looking like fluid, like like something flowing inside your logo. But with speed map, and let's have a look animation. Bam! And let's make it looped. And let's turn off preview. Look at that. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> you see that? Like, it's like 
uh, spilling inside it and without out without speed map and already uh, even at the, this frame you see without speed map it's circle like boring circle but with speed map it already changing shape even before it touches borders so again with speed map and this is without speed map and you know also which is crazy you can use speed map pre-composed speed map what is it it's just it's just your speed map and here we're going to use luma going to use edit speed map and going to use source i will explain everything in the next tutorial and we have the same effect because we have inner shadows but what if we will use something crazy like this look at that huh huh because everything which is black is slower and whiteness is faster we can increase speed map okay that's too crazy like that what will happen multi-line complex animation of your logo <gasps> you know what could we do we could m reveal everything like that yes look at that so we revealed these shapes and then we're going to reveal this shape maybe let's make it not so extreme like that and now we have it and i did it right now like in in a seconds okay maybe in a minutes in one minute or two and our complex animated reveal is ready but moreover moreover you will get 25 colorful presets you have seen in the promo video and right now we're working in this template and with all that presets in fact you will get also this speed map this multi-line speed map in fact it's just inner glow with gradient and you already could play an experiment and you already could recreate uh okay no crazy speed map yes you already could recreate this effect with your logo and let's open some of my favorites i really like cyber there's so much <laughs> things going on so it's not just like templates for templates it's really beautifully look at that well it's really interesting and about gummy let's have a look i like it i don't know what about you but i like it that's how fast we created this beautiness look at that so well yeah that's it that's autofill the tool that will help you to create beautiness beautiness automatically complex animations automatically just uh, show from where to grow create simple speed map or crazy speed map and create even crazier complex animations so that's it that's how to fill thank you for your attention and see you in the next tutorial we have a lot more things to discuss maybe the same things but in details because there is some interesting things that we should discuss.